Welcome to Easy in Trade daily video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar has plummeted further and now looks towards the key level of 62.80 to 63 cents after taking out the 60-day moving average at 63.80. The technicals not quite married up to support a bearish case, so I feel there could be or somewhat a rebound that could uh, potentially recover back towards 64 cents, maybe on towards 64 to 65. Nevertheless, we have taken out the 60-day moving average, which was previously broken only for two days. Now let's see if the market may again repeat that pan for two days and then stage a bullish return. But the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, gained towards 105.30 to 105.80 after the Fed power came out and was somewhat hawkish. But nevertheless, although the U.S. Central Bank views that they may have to lift rates one more time to tackle inflation. Presently, we can see that the dollar is struggling. As long as it remains beneath 106.15, then I feel the market will find a return of bearishness to the U.S. dollar and a recovery across the board. Not seeing the bearishness as much when it comes to the euro, even though it did break down overnight. But finding support now that with a line of 105.90 could stage a further recovery back towards 107.30. A break there will give further scope up towards 108, with the target still remaining at 109. The dollar yen, after four days, is tiptoed back into 151 and potentially could see an intervention from the Bank of Japan due to the weakness of the yen. If so, that could trigger a 300 point decline and therefore look towards a region of 149 to 148. Sterling a little bit weaker and now posting its fourth consecutive day down. It's getting closer towards its support line, which is seen around 121.30-40 area, as like the euro and also other some of the other markets. The technicals haven't quite married up towards a bearish case, so therefore I'm not ruling out. Furthermore, that we could see a bounce back to 124. After weighing on that key support level of 1,950, we didn't get a close under there. But still, I uh, do expect to see the bears are eyeing that level and maybe see a break. That would see a move down to 1,924 to 26. And finishing up with all, we've got an inverted hammer as we get closer to that key support level which is around $74 a barrel. I'm not negative here, although the technicals are oversold and a trend that does support the bear case, but we could see a bounce due to the given indication from this inverted hammer. Therefore, look towards the region of 78 and reassess. Well, that's a wrap for the week. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the interest rate port. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new weekend.